Now we got first three times of the day. This uh, pink trail is the track out of Newport going out to the area that I was fishing. This, this was the area that I fished. It's pretty much about eight miles out of Newport off uh, the lighthouse. And you can see each one of those little uh, crosses there, those were fish that I had on. So every time I, I get a bite or a takedown, as we call it, I mark it. It gives me an idea where the fish are. First fish on of the day. First fish of the day. It's a nice one. A little wrapped up here. Bring him in. I don't know. Don't know if it's a keeper or not. No, he's not. He's a native. So we're gonna have to turn him loose. 
There we go, got him loose. Take the net here and just flip him upside down. Get him in there. There he goes. All right, first fish of the day. Got a white hoochie. Got that last one. Stop this one down to 32 feet. came out here for two fish two silvers thin clip silvers which makes them a uh, hatchery origin or one Chinook salmon and one silver
Today is a glassy day out here. Nice fish that I've got. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. ahead and chunk this guy and let's get him out there let's get him out there get that diver get a dig in drop it down to 38 feet that's where I have it for this one Here's a fishy here. It's a good fish. Hit, took off. Peeling line back there. Nice fish jumping. Oh man. Acts like. Acts like a uh, native, the way it's jumping and running. They're just much stronger fish than the hatcheries. Definitely a lot of strength. Get up here and get a look at it. Get this net ready here. I can get him coming to the boat. Yeah, looks like a keeper. There we go. There we go. a while but we got her done
All right, by golly. Got our last fish at 11.48. Go ahead and shut this engine down. So we can just take advantage of being out here in the ocean. Rock gently with the swells. Let's take this guy. Put him up here with the other one. This is what I use my trip out of Newport. Uh, I use these different uh, combinations of flashers and hoochies. One of the most important things and probably the most fun I have is finding out what, co what combination is going to work on these coho. The one that probably was the most effective was this Lou Morrison Silver Horde flasher. Or actually this is a Dodger, uh, size is zero. Um, it swims through the water and a right to left, right to left, and is designed to impart action on the hoochie. This, this one right here um, is a plastic flasher, and what it is is it rolls. It goes in a circle as you troll it through the water. And last but not least, use a, a fish flash. Fish flash just go through the water and spin. They don't impart any action on your lure. So to get action on my hoochies, I use the Scotty. This hoochie is hooked up to a Scotty's Squid Devil Butterfly. And what, uh, what this does is it imparts action to the lure itself and it swims through the water like a small fish. And I started off by using a, a, a reel that has capability of counting down by feet, how much line you have out. Now the hoochie and the flasher combination is a basic salmon technique. Uh, the hoochies themselves, they are soft plastic and obviously they mimic a fish or a squid. And you can fish them different ways. Um, some people like to put a piece of herring, uh, a chunk of herring, small chunk of herring on the hook on the back to give it a little bit of a, oh, a little bit of a scent. Other people just like to run them uh, without a chunky, but they like to maybe put some uh, fish scent on there. That's always good to have a little bit of scent going. You want to mask the scent on uh, a human scent because salmon react to that. I choose a smaller flasher because there's less drag on the line. You get uh, plenty of attraction. This diver right here is, is pretty standard. It, uh, it really digs down. The faster you troll, the deeper it goes. And trolling speed is an interesting thing here. Um, out of the package, these things are rated for a certain uh, speed through the water. Uh, you can tune these dodgers here. You can bend them to make them do what you want. I like to troll them between two and two and a half miles an hour. Uh, that's water speed. And what I like to do is I like them to swim side to side three or four times. And then I like them to roll, to go into a roll. And it rolls two or three times and then back out to a side to side. What you do is you set your speed and then you go ahead and you bend the back or the front. 
uh, basically tuning it to get the action that you want.